Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we are once again going to be taking a look at the tropics today where there is some big updates. <laughs> Anyways, for today's comment of the day, I want to know, obviously we had Tropical Storm Bill from one of these, but do you think that either of the other two will become a Tropical Storm? Let me know in the comments down below whether you think they will or not, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video, and first things first, we're taking a look at the two-day graphical tropical weather outlook. And as you can see here, we've actually dropped our MDR storm. Uh, this one was at about a 10% chance or so, so it was a very, very low chance cyclone. And they went ahead and dropped that from the probability list here, as you can see. So we have a 60% chance, as you can see, for the one in the Gulf over the next two days. And then we have post-tropical cyclone Bill up there offshore of Atlantic Canada. Let's just go ahead and zoom in on that Gulf system. We can see a little bit of the satellite imagery going on. There is some taller clouds, but they're mostly over Mexico, which is going to cause it to take a little bit longer to develop. As those clouds stay over Mexico, they're going to have a harder time really getting their act together. Once those can move over water, we're going to see some pretty fast development, I expect. Now, here is our post-tropical cyclone Bill's uh, cone forecast. And as you can see, we have very limited amounts of time with this storm. Uh, by 8 a.m. Uh, this morning, it should be mostly pretty much dissipated near Newfoundland, uh, but it does still have very strong winds and some heavy rain associated with it. So you're going to want to, if you're in Newfoundland, uh, you're going to want to pay attention to those potential impacts as they could actually be pretty bad. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the five-day graphical tropical weather outlook. So that leaves us basically with only the Gulf system to take a look at, but we do have a 90% chance of development down there over the next five days. So their confidence has basically gone from, we've watched it over the past week or so, go from about a 20 all the way up to where now it is at peak value at a 90% chance. Super crazy to watch it progress this way. Uh, and I love making videos on the weather because I get to kind of document it all uh, and pay a little bit more attention than I would have before I started making weather videos. Uh, so it's, it's fun tracking them, it certainly is. But now we have to really pay attention to the important stuff like impacts and threats to uh, potentially the Gulf Coast. Uh, and it becomes not so fun anymore. Now here's our satellite imagery for Tropical Storm Bill. And as you can see, there's not much of anything going on. There is some heavier rain there to the northwest of our low pressure center, uh, which is somewhere in the middle of the screen there. Again, there is also some stronger wind still associated with this. It's not being downgraded because it has less winds. It's being downgraded because it's not tropical anymore. Uh, so there is some different dynamics going on there for sure. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at the satellite imagery for both of the other systems. We're also going to take a look at a probability forecast for all of these systems. And then we're even going to take a look at the spaghetti models and intensity guidance at the end of the video. All right, now here's our satellite imagery for the system that is in the Gulf. And as you can see, again, there is some very tall clouds. Some of them are over water, but a great majority of the clouds associated with the system are actually um, over Mexico right now, which is not going to help its development. It's certainly bringing probably a lot of rain there right now, actually, as we speak. So that is some taller clouds there. It has done pretty nicely considering it's over land, but it is going to struggle unless it can get itself away from that land. Now here is our other tropical cyclone, potential tropical cyclone in the MDR. And even though the National Hurricane Center has dropped this one off, uh, we do still have some data available for this one, including satellite imagery, some spaghetti model guidance and intensity guidance from the models, uh, which some of them do have it re-intensifying to where it is notable again. So I think that is a possibility that that does reappear on the National Hurricane Center's two-day and five-day forecast eventually. But it is the lowest probability out of all of these systems. I do expect that there is a great chance it dissipates as well. Now, probability of tropical depression over the next three days looks like this. We do have a 10 to 20% chance of tropical depression status there uh, in the MDR from our final system that we just took a look at. Uh, we also have a 80 to 90% chance there in the Gulf of Mexico over the next three days that we will see a tropical depression. Um, now, let's go ahead and just move this on. It's going to be days four through seven. And as you can see, that Gulf system is now over the Gulf Coast, and it will basically move out through the East Coast there. Uh, so we have some probability along that area. 
Uh, we also have our 40 to 50% chance of tropical development uh, towards tr tropical depression status there south of the MDR. Whether that's associated with the system we talked about today or if it's a new system, there is still just that chance of development. We also see the Southern Caribbean shows up another potential area of interest. Now, probability of tropical storm peaks out at days two through five, where we do end up having a four to, or sorry, 40 to 50 percent chance there offshore of Texas. Very, very interesting stuff there. Now, let's go ahead and start taking a look at the spaghetti model guidance, and we're going to start out with our Gulf system, and it kind of still looks like some uncooked, or sorry, some cooked noodles, but we do see there is a cluster of cooked noodles taking it towards Florida or, or Louisiana. Uh, which is increasing my confidence a bit. We do have a, a area of agreement there. And the interesting thing with that track that would be pretty bad is it does move offshore of the East Coast as well, which means this one could be around for quite a while because if it moves over water, it might not even dissipate. It might just continue at tropical storm status or worse. So we're going to need to watch that extremely closely if it's going to move offshore of the East Coast, uh, let alone impact the Gulf Coast there as a system that just moved across the Gulf, which usually means it's going to be pretty strong. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at the intensity guidance for the system, take a look at the spaghetti model guidance for uh, Tropical Storm Bill, and then also take a look at Invest 94L, which is that main development region storm as well. Now as far as intensity guidance for this system, as you can see, it is an uptrend situation. There's quite a few that show it weakening. There's about three. Uh, but we do see the great majority uh, are taking it more towards tropical storm status over the next 72 hours or so. Uh, and then basically maintaining that status, even some of them bringing it close to category one status uh, before dropping off there at around hours 120 to 168, somewhere in between there. That could be some land impact going on. And that's why they drop off in the intensity by that point. But again, it could re-enter offshore of the East Coast, which is historically known for not necessarily weakening storms, uh, but actually maybe intensifying them or at least maintaining. So we're going to be watching for all of those possibilities, like I said, as we continue to update you guys here on this channel. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you do want those updates, though. Now, for the spaghetti model guidance for Tropical Storm Bill, or I guess post-Tropical Cyclone Bill, uh, we see this one is expected, like I said, to hit Newfoundland or, or very much so come close and graze Newfoundland there. Uh, but this one is also expected to possibly curve around and go towards Europe as a low pressure system that could be a strong storm, definitely not tropical by that point. Now the intensity guidance here for Tropical Storm Bill uh, is basically a sharp drop off as you can see. It's going to quickly over the next 48 hours drop to below Tropical Storm status. I do expect that to happen this morning or afternoon. Now, we do have some spaghetti model guidance for that invest in the MDR, like I said. And as you can see, they take it basically where we expect it to go, uh, straight to the west or northwest. Now, as we get to the intensity guidance, things get a little bit interesting. We have two separate sets of models starting it out at a different intensity. One there at around 15 knots and then one there at a, a, about 25 knots. The one thing that is consistent with pretty much all of these is that they all take it upward. They're all intensifying over the next 48 to 72 hours. Uh, and even quite a few of these take it towards tropical storm status. This is why I haven't completely lost faith that this one will eventually become some sort of tropical threat. Uh, so we're going to continue to track this one as long as we have model guidance available for it. Uh, and as long as it is a potential storm that could re-intensify and potentially one day become a tropical depression or tropical storm or even hurricane. So we will continue to watch this one, even though the National Hurricane Center has gone ahead and dropped it from its probability uh, outlook there. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. For today's confidence tab, we maintain it a 5 out of 6. There is a few things that we're a little, a little bit lower confidence in. Uh, I'm starting to feel more confident in the Gulf Storm, though, but just not a 6 out of 6. Anyways, for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, what do you think is going to happen with all three of these tropical systems? Just let me know. And Michael Espeland, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, said, the African wave won't do much is my guess here. Uh, and for now, that seems to be a good guess but we will have to see what it does later on, like I said. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, John Bembenek, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Larry the Pan, and Donna Carnes, alongside our diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Catbite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Villegos, Gary's, John Colisi, Dwight Phelan, and Stephen Cronenthal. 
If you would like to be a part of this patron end screen of the day, you can do so by joining our very amazing Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, Hair Farms One and Catbite as well. If you'd like to join this page, that'll be next to the subscribe button down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button, leave a comment down below to help the YouTube algorithm out, and be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.